you have a lawnmower that runs for a little while and then dies, runs for a little while and then dies, um, you need you have a carburetor problem, whether it be water in the gas or uh, something clogging up one of the jets. This is a Honda HRX217, and I'm going to show you how to clean the carburetor on this Honda. Um, really, the first thing that I like to do is just rinse it off, get all the, the dirt and grime off of it. You want to remove the air filter, check it to make sure that it's, uh, this probably could be re replaced, but remove the air filter, and we're going to have three 10 millimeter bolts to remove. Before we do that, though, we're going to shut off the gas. And remove the bolts. There's one short one and two long bolts. These bolts right here are what's holding on the carburetor. There's a hose connected to the back of the air box. Just pull that straight off. Okay, there's a fuel line right here that we have to disconnect. And a little bit of fuel is going to come out of it, just from the uh, shutoff to here, just a little bit. So, it has a strange little connection on it, but we're going to just pull back the, the clamp. Like that. And pull that straight back. And there's a little bit of fuel that came off. Okay. Now there's two linkages at the top, and what you do is you tip the carburetor at an angle like that, and remember where they go. Okay. And then there's a secondary spring on the last one on the back. Because we're going to be handling fuel, I like to wear rubber gloves, and on the bottom of the uh, bowl is a 10 millimeter nut. Just take that off. And catch the little bit of fuel that's in the bowl. Like so. And you want to look inside it and see if there's any debris in there or any water in the fuel. That looks pretty good, actually. All right. Okay. Now, this is just a bolt on the bottom holding the bowl. Sometimes on, uh, like Briggs and Stratton, this would be a jet, and you'd want to uh, clear it out, make sure that it's it's not clogged. But this is just a bolt. But without losing our float bowl. The bottom of this, right here, is the main jet. You want to use a screwdriver that it's threaded, and you want it just large enough to remove the first jet, okay, but not ruin the threads. So you got to find a screwdriver that'll work just right for you, and unscrew that. And then underneath this jet is another jet. Okay. Inside the main body can you see that? The main jet is sticking up. Very carefully taking a flathead screwdriver push down on it and dislodge it like so. There we go. Okay, that's the first jet. And there's the second jet. Okay. All right. Now what I like to do you 
using air gently without dislodging the needle in the seat and all that. I like to dry off. But what I do not do is I do not put air in through the fuel line because that would blow out the seat for the needle. And I, this is working fine. I don't want to reset that and reseat it. Um, really, all I'm doing here is cleaning the carburetor and dislodging anything that would be blocking the main jets. Alright, using a bread tie that I peeled back the uh, paper on, I made certain that it was smaller than the jet holes. Okay? What I want to do is just carefully, because I don't want to enlarge these, uh, these holes, I just want to make sure that there's nothing blocking them. And I send a little bread tie through it, then I take my air. I make sure that I can see see through the hole. I see light, I see my finger blocking it, I see light, my finger blocking it. So that's clean. Okay, this is the main jet, and there are a bunch of holes, and I can see through them, but I just want to make sure nothing's blocking it. So I'm going to send my bread tie through it. See? See? I'm going to do the same on the sides. And all it takes is a little bit of dirt. And then I'm going to look down and I see down the center. Just a little bit of dirt to fill one of these holes and the engine's not going to run quite right. So. Okay. Alright, we've cleaned the jets and now it's time to reassemble. I want to make sure that the float and the needle stay in its place. Taking your jet you want this part with no hole going in first. The one with the hole goes toward the bottom. See? That goes to the bottom. No holes toward the top. And we send it back in there. And just using a screwdriver, I'm going to push it back into place. Okay, gently. Second jet, we're going to stick in there. Just very carefully, without cross threading or anything, using a screwdriver that's just sized properly, we're going to screw that into place. That looks excellent. All right. Okay. The black handled one is my choke. Okay? And I want the bowl with a drain. I want the drain facing the choke because that's the front of the mower, the side the, the side that we can get to. If you put it in the back, we wouldn't be able to drain the bowl. Okay? And then we're gonna put our bowl. Make sure that your washer's on it. Make sure that your gasket is clean and intact. reassemble and just snug it. Alright, we're ready to reassemble on the more. Alright, it's time for reassembly. <coughs> we have a gasket on the, the head here. We have a spacer bar on a heat shield and another gasket. We need to make sure that they're all in place. 
take our carburetor and this is our choke. We want that on the outside. Find this clamp right here down on that inlet tube. like so. Alright. Now we need to connect our choke. Can you see right here? It's not this hole, but it's this hole. And there's two holes right here. The choke goes into this one, throttle goes into this one, and that last hole is for the secondary spring. What we do is we just tip it like so, and then bend it into place. Make sure you don't bend your like so. Okay. Alright. Now, let's just temporarily, we're going to put our heat shield in our spacer block. And take our two long bolts. Line everything up. Our gasket, place it on the, the tips of those two bolts very carefully. And then put our spacer bar into place. held in place. I'm going to take my secondary spring right here using needle nose pliers and put it in to that second hole. Like so. Alright. Okay, now we got to put our air box in. We need to pull these out again, but now that I got it all lined up, it should stay in place. And put that hose, air hose, onto that nipple. Get the two long bolts in place, and then just the, the last one, the short one. Okay. Put our air filter back in place. just clean the main jets of your carburetor. 
should run without a, without a hitch. Um, should take about 15 to 20 minutes.